Um, I'm Joe Mann. If you want to know what I, I look like, I'm that scary looking man with a picture up on the slide. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my university. I'm also going to introduce you to my colleague from the Hague Pathway Programme, uh, with whom we work, and she'll talk to you more later. I am going to apologise for probably repeating some stuff that you've heard already from other schools, uh, should you've been sitting through a number of presentations. If you haven't been through any other presentations, then it may be something new for you. Okay, so um, I'm Joe Vaughan from the Hague University of Applied Sciences, and let me tell you something about the situation in the Netherlands, the university programs, but perhaps, of course, the one thing that I know that everybody across the world is talking about is the COVID-19 matters. Probably heard about it already. But uh, just a quick recap, shops are pretty much all open. Uh, my university is open, for example, although the teaching is a mixture of online and in-person. Face masks, for example, uh, when moving around the campus. There are no particular restrictions. Uh, there are, well, certainly for Taiwanese students, no particular restrictions about entering the country. Um, so, and we are also giving priority to first year and international students when it comes to these things. Come September, I'm hoping that, that will all be much better and that none of this is relevant anymore. So, there you are, a nice picture of the Netherlands, which is actually a picture taken not too far from where I live. Lots of lovely windmills. Wind Netherlands, though, is a little bit more than that. It's, uh, it's actually quite a modern, powerful little country, so maybe a few facts and figures. We're about 17 million people. We have a lot of foreign students, pretty near 100,000, in fact. For a country that doesn't have English as their uh, native language, we're actually now officially the best English-speaking country in the world outside of native English-speaking countries. So if you arrive in the Netherlands, everybody can speak in English with you and is pretty happy to do so. We're really well connected. Uh, I can step out of my office in The Hague and be in Paris in about three and a half hours or so. Get to London by train, get to Berlin by train, the airport's about half an hour away by train. It's a very multicultural country, very multinational. It's like sort of uh, Singapore to, of Europe in many ways. It's got very good, uh, a very good educational system, whether you look at primary, high school or universities, they always come inside the top 10 globally. And it's a safe country. So I think it's uh, a good place to, to be an international student in. Okay, now you've, you've seen on the title, the Hague University of Applied Sciences. The Applied Sciences bit is important because it says a lot about who we are and what we do. We are, there are two sorts of universities in the Netherlands, Applied Sciences, which is where about two thirds of at a research university. With the applied sciences, which means we're more practical, more focused on your future careers than perhaps some research universities. We mix our theory and practice together. Um, we work closely with companies, for example, we're very solution oriented. Class sizes are generally pretty small. A lot of the time our classes are 25 to 30 students and you get fairly intensive guidance from your lecturers and your teachers. You'll have a lot of contact with them. And one very important thing as well, all of our students are required to do a work placement, which is very useful to you when you want to start working. There you go, there's a, a picture of the Hague, which includes um, the school in it. In the distance on the horizon, you can actually see um, the sea. We're, not, we're actually a coastal town, which is really nice. Hague is really a lovely city. It's one of the three main cities of the Netherlands. That's Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and The Hague. And we're, we're in between them. I'm biased, but I think it's the nicest of the three cities. It is the city of international uh, peace and justice. So it's a United Nations city, one of the four. Half a million residents, or just over, which for the Netherlands is big. Uh, I know for most parts of the world it's tiny. Um, it's a very green city, about a third of the city are parks and so on. It's got 11 kilometers of coastline, which is really nice to walk along. 
lots of international organizations, well over a hundred of them, loads of theaters, loads of museums. It's also very much a commercial city. So for example, Shell have their world headquarters there. And though officially it's not the capital, that's officially Amsterdam, the government and the parliament and the embassies are all based in, in The Hague. So it's very international, it's very, very cosmopolitan. A few facts about the, the university itself. Um, it's about 26,000 students, which makes it one of the larger universities in the Netherlands. Um, it's very, very international. So about 13% of its students are from abroad. And in the international programs, they're usually the majority of students. That includes Taiwanese students, I should say. We have a lot of exchange partners across the world. Uh, in Taiwan, our main uh, exchange partner um, for re and also for research and things is Suzhou University. Um, we also have letters, students from just about every country we can think of. When I checked yesterday, we had 153 different nationalities of students. And lecturers as well come from across the world. Most of you will study on the main campus in The Hague. So if you want to know a little bit about what that's like, this is what you see every morning, that top picture on the left when you walk in. Um, it's where you also leave every day. It's very modern, it's a very, very cool campus, and it's in the central area of The Hague. So I can walk to the parliament in about 20 minutes. Lots of cafes, lots of work areas, because our style of work is often to work in small groups and in projects, so we have a lot of project areas. Okay. Now, um, I'm gonna leave some, a little bit of time for, um, also, I'm going to go fairly quickly through some, of the, through some of the programs. You'll notice I have some numbers next to them because most of our bachelor's programs in English are four years, but we have some that are also three years only and some that are... What does that mean? Well, Taiwanese students generally can get into the four-year programs without too many problems. However, for three-year programs, they usually need to do extra, meet extra requirements. For that, we have our pathway program, which you're gonna hear about more in a few minutes. Uh, and the pathway program is not only good for helping you to join a three-year program, it's also very good for developing your English skills, your learning skills, and helping to you to make that adjustment from when you come from Taiwan, different language, culture, style of learning, into the sort of system that we use. So it means it increases your chances of success. So we have in the area of business, a couple of programs. One is called International Business. It's for those people who wanna do business, but they're not really sure what sort of business they wanna do. So the first half of the program, they do a little bit of everything in the areas of business. Then later on, they specialize in things like marketing and entrepreneurship and other areas. This program as well also requires its students to go on exchange with one of our many partners across the world. So in theory, you could even go back to Taiwan to do your exchange, but having seen Taiwan, you might like to choose somewhere else. <clears throat> they also teach a lot of languages. Um, so again, if you want to kind of increase your job prospects, et cetera, for in the future, it's good to learn a foreign language. For those of you who are much more focused on numbers, know you want to do finance, we have a three and a four year program, finance and management control. Okay, then we have international sport management and I see a mistake there. They, they, the next two programs actually should only be three years, show three years, both international sport management and user experience design take three years only. That means if you want to join as a Taiwanese student, you may well need to think about the pathway program. Sport management is, like it says, about the management of sport. Sport is actually one of the biggest industries in the world. It's everything from sports clubs, um, the big events like the Olympic Games and the World Cup. Uh, it's about your local uh, leisure, leisure center, for example, and sports center and local gym. It's about creating national sports teams that win Olympic gold medals. It's a vast industry and it's worth billions. And just to give you a clue of just how much it's worth, 
the richest football club in the world is Manchester United. And that was worth at the last estimate about two and a half billion dollars. It's big business. For those of you who kind of have an interest in technology, a little bit of psychology and business, I want to learn about how to bring these things together. We have a program called User Experience Design. User Experience Design is a program which is where we combine technology and people to make people's lives better. So it can be as something as simple as an app, which can allow an old person suffering with diabetes and mobility problems to be able to live, still be able to live independently, where it's connected to a hospital so that the hospital can monitor your health long distance. Uh, many of the students in this program will actually go on to start their own businesses. And so we work with a lot of startups as well. Okay, um, for those of you who are less interested in technology, we have a, a number of programs. We have international and European law, um, which is, like it says, international and European law, particularly international law. The Hague is the best place in the world, probably, to study international law because we are the United Nations City of Law. We have the International Criminal Court and a lot of other international legal organizations. Many of the teachers in that program actually are also working at the International Criminal Court. For those of you, uh, and it's a four-year program, and for those of you who are interested in, for example, things like international relations, conflict resolution, we have a program called International Public Management, which is looking at international relations, it's international organizations, conflict resolution, uh, international economics, etc. So if you want to do that program and think about what you want to do afterwards, it might be into diplomacy, for example, or working in an international organization. We have a program called Safety and Security Management Studies, and Safety and Security Management Studies is kind of in a way a bit sad because the more dangerous the world gets, the more you need people from this program. They look at everything, for example, from management during a pandemic, managing a, the, a pandemic crisis like we're going through now. Uh, so, uh, it can be things like cybersecurity, counterterrorism, industrial safety, uh, drugs prevention, all sorts of things that related in that area. So they look at economics, politics, sociology, psychology, crime, etc. Now, for those of you who are a little bit more technically oriented, we have a couple of programs. Both of these pro um, programs can be done in three years, and um, again, I must see it's part of a mistake. Process and food technology can be done in three or four years. Industrial design engineering takes three years. Now, process and food technology is about how things are made. So um, how is, for example, is something transformed from a raw material into the product that gets into, into, uh, into the shop? The Netherlands is actually the second biggest manufacturer of processed food, for example, in, in the Netherlands. So for example, how does a coffee bean end up in the packet of coffee that you use to put in your coffee machine? Well, they're gonna look, you're gonna look at all of that, or oil get transformed into fuel you put into your car. So for those of you who've got a chemistry background, this is an excellent program. And the job prospects for the, from this are particularly good. Industrial design engineering is a three-year program. That's a mistake on the screen. And it's for those of you who are interested in technology, interested in design, and interested in how products come to be made. So for example, why is the iPhone such a beloved object across the world? It's, um, it's beloved because it's well designed, it's got good software, it's got good engineering, it's well manufactured, it's well marketed. Industrial design engineering looks at all of those things. Right, and that's the three year program. European studies is uh, an, in what we call the area of management and organization. European studies can be done in three or four years. If you're kind of thinking, well, why is the European studies of any interest to me? Well, in this program, they look at the business, culture, the politics, the government, 
of the Europe in general, but in the European Union in particular. And the European Union was until recently the biggest trade bloc in the world. Um, it's, uh, it's, in many, it's got a common currency amongst many, many of its countries, a common economy. And it's uh, even for a country like Taiwan, a, a region of the world which has a big influence on the economy and on the politics and safety and security of the rest of the world. So they would look at all the business politics, et cetera, of the European Union inside it and outside it. For those of you who kind of want to do something businessy, I'm not necessarily hardcore um, business types. We have a program called International Communication Management, which takes three years. And it's basically how do organizations handle all of the communication issues, internal, external, public relations, social media, branding, marketing, crisis communication, etc. So we can see, for example, during the pandemic, how important it is that, for example, that we clearly communicate as a company or as an organization with the society that surrounds us. Okay. Now those were our bachelor's programs. We also have some master's programs in English. Those are, they've got three of them. They're more or less developed and more or less based on equivalent bachelor's programs we have. So communication management, which I just mentioned, master of financial management and control, which is based on our financial management control uh, bachelor's program, and our MBA program, which is based on MBA program. MBA program, I should say, is a fairly general MBA program. You look at all the different areas and then towards the end of the program, you specialize. Okay. What happens after you graduate from either a bachelor's or a master's? Well, you've probably heard already, you can stay in the Netherlands for a year to look for a job. Job prospects are good. Our students um, have very good job prospects upon graduation. So we know, for example, from the bachelor's programs that the big majority will have a job within about four months. Latest figures we have are about 92%. Some students will want to do a master's, which you can do, perhaps at another Dutch university, perhaps at a foreign university, even if you want. And many of the students go to very kind of um, reputable universities across the world, including places like um, uh, Yonsei in Korea, University of Hong Kong and Cambridge. Um, so our students are welcome across the world. So it's, the degrees are very transferable. A, couple of, a few practicalities. Um, with your senior high school diploma, you will gain entry to the four-year programs. If you want to do a program in three years or only be done in three years, we do recommend the pathway program. More on that in a moment. For the master's programs, you require a bachelor's degree and, very importantly, two years of work experience. You also require a test of English like IELTS or TOEFL or Cambridge. Um, if you don't meet the English language requirements like an IELTS of six, again, we have a, what's called a prep school, which works with Pathway. That can help you with all of that. Right. Now, nothing good is for free. It does cost you money. As a non-EU student, you will have to pay about €8,475 for a bachelor's program per year. The, ma the master's programs range from about €19,700 to about £22,000. Living is reasonable uh, in The Hague compared to other places. It's probably much cheaper than places like Amsterdam. So, Food and stuff like that, I would say, well, if you're like my daughters, they were definitely on the higher end of things, but I think most normal people would probably spend about 200 euros on food and transport and things like that. <clears throat> Accommodation, that is probably in the typical range of 450 euros to 650 euros a month for our bachelors and for our master students. So I would say be safe and in year one, budget for around 850 or so euros each month. You can get a part-time job to help, uh, to help make money when you've settled into the program. That's always a possibility. 
we will help find you uh, accommodation in the first year so you're not going to arrive and be homeless we have quite a lot of we don't own the, our own accommodation which is typical but we have a work with special agencies uh, which have a lot of student housing perfect for students which are very close to the university within walking distance so again if you're going to be able to do a bachelor's or a master's with us i would recommend you use our housing service okay and that's me going very very quickly through through my presentation you may have some questions i hope you do you're very welcome to either email me you can see my email address awesome we also have lots more useful information on the website, on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. We also do things like virtual open days, where again, you can come and join us, meet our students and staff, and ask questions. Thank you very much. I think um, that was a quick gallop through the Netherlands, The Hague, and the, and the Hague University of Applied Sciences. But thank you for your time. So, Marlies, I think it's over to you now. So I will stop sharing. I think you need to unmute as well. Okay, good. So um, please give a shout if something is not all right, Dwell. <laughs> Hello, um, Marlies. Hey, Dwell. Hope you are doing well. Lovely to be here with you. Um, yes, do you yeah, see the correct? I'm very happy to be, to be with yeah. you. Uh, yeah, same, same for me. I, it's, it's, it's a good occasion and thanks for hosting us. Um, do you see the correct version? Because I'm working on multiple screens, so sometimes it looks odd. Do you see the presentation screen? Or... I can see your slide on the screen very well. Okay, good. Then we'll kick off. I'll try to be brief if you stay in time. Um, a short few words then about the Hague Pathway College. Um, my name is Marlies Overbeek. I'm the Director of Marketing and Admissions for the Hague Pathway College and for Twente Pathway College. Um, and well, let's quickly continue to talk a bit further about the Hague Pathway College. Because um, Joel just mentioned a few things about the Hague Pathway College already. I'm not going to talk further about the university um, as a whole because, well, you've heard that already. Now, the Hague Pathway College offers preparation programs for students from around the world, particularly from outside of Europe, who need a bit of extra um, time to prepare for their studies um, at the Hague University of Applied Sciences. Students with a Taiwanese senior high school degree can either look at doing a four-year degree at the Hague University of Applied Sciences or alternatively do the foundation year at the Hague Pathway College and then continue to a three years bachelor's program at the Hague University of Applied Sciences. Obviously, there is some decision making to do there on your end, but I hope that after this few minutes, it's all going to be a bit more clear about, well, why to choose one or the other and what's suitable for you. Alternatively, next to the International Foundation Year, we also run an English academic preparation program, which is a more generic program focusing solely on English, which can help you to either access the four years bachelor's programs or also the three master's programs that Joe just told you about. Now, if you'd have an IB degree, A-level, for example, you typically do not need to look at foundation programs. You can either enroll in a three or a four year program and don't need um, any kind of preparation programs. Now, um, how does this work? Looking a bit further, the International Foundation Year on your left hand side, um, we have a full year program and a shorter program if your English is already at a higher level. 
and you can use it to enroll in the three years bachelor's programs. Um, Joe already told you a bit more about them. They're listed here once again. Now, alternatively, you may look at our English academic preparation program, um, which can help you enter the four year bachelor's programs and also the one year master programs. Now, some facts about the International Foundation Year. We are located right on the campus of The Hague University of Applied Sciences, and we offer, well, pathways to recognize degrees. And the curriculum, so the program we teach, is fully developed together with The Hague University of Applied Sciences to make sure that the things you learn during the International Foundation Year are also the things you'd really need to be successful in your bachelor's after that. And well, I think the excellent news is that after we've had our intake last year, we've learned that 91% of all students who enrolled in the foundation year are able to continue their studies at the Hague University. And I think that brings us a bit more into, well, foundation years, how do they work and why would you look at doing such a program? Obviously, you will need to meet the entry requirements and by improving your English skills and your academic knowledge. However, an important other aspect of being successful in a new country, wherever you would be going, is to adjust to a new life and to make new friends and to feel comfortable. And making that kind of adjustment, that is something the International Foundation Year is good at not just from the academic perspective, but also in providing you the kind of support that you will need in order to feel confident about being able to cope with the new life, the heavy way maybe you feel every once in a while, to, well, feel ready to be able to do that. Alternatively, I mentioned we have the English Academic Preparation Program, and just again for you to have in your head is that that program is focusing on your English and academic skills strictly. So no math, no physics, no economics in that program, strictly English and academic skills to get access to the Hague University's four years bachelor's programs and the Hague University's master programs. You will finish this program with an IELTS test. Um, and um, yeah, I think that's a brief summary of this program. I'm a bit mindful about the time here. Now, um, Joe mentioned this already briefly as well, but I, I do think it's good to, to stress this again, is about how we teach in COVID-19 times at the Hague Pathway College. We, um, fortunately, um, Dutch government really prioritizes um, students being able to go to class on their universities in a safe way. So we're able to teach about 50% of our classes on campus and 50% students do online. So it's like a hybrid model, like the conference, like the event you are participating in right now. Obviously, there's extra sanitary measures in place. We've reduced the group size. We need to wear face masks inside. All of these mean that we can still allow students and staff to meet each other face to face, but do so in a safe way in which social distancing, distancing will always be possible. Now, in case for whatever reasons, groups of students would not yet be able to travel to the Netherlands. In such cases, we allow students to start by full online studies and then move to the Netherlands as soon as they would be able to. I don't think such restrictions would be in place for Taiwanese students at the moment, but just for you to, to keep in mind that obviously, yeah, we want to provide you with the best solutions we can. Entry requirements, very briefly, um, looking at our intake for next September for the foundation year. Your minimum IELTS score needs to be 5.0 with 5.0 in writing and no subscores below 4.5. For the foundation year academic entry requirements, you need to complete your senior high school diploma. And for some programs, minimum grades and subject specific requirements will apply. Also for the English academic preparation program, you'd find the um, English language requirements and the academic requirements listed over here. 
If you are still in the process of completing your secondary school, don't worry, same goes if you'd be still completing your bachelor's, you can apply now and we can consider your application based on your grades so far. Tuition fees then, the foundation year, the full program starting in September is priced at 12,500 euros, followed by the Hague University's fees, which you find in the green boxes in the bottom of the screen. The English Academic Preparation Programme is priced a bit lower at 9,000 euros. Good. Then, um, pretty much my final slide on accommodation. We offer you full assistance in the booking, booking process. Most of our students live in the nearby location of the student hotel, which offers private rooms uh, with your own bathroom, you share your kitchen, and it has a great social atmosphere. Um, it's a good place to build up your new life. Do take in mind that the price per month is at 800 euros. So that does bring up your budget for the first year a little bit, but keep in mind that after this first year, you'll easily be able to find an apartment, share with some of your new international friends, um, and well, continue to live your life in beautiful The Hague after that. Good. Then um, lastly, our website, thehakepathway.nl and my contact details, marlies.overbeek at navitas.com. Um, I'm happy to speak to you via email or schedule a meeting after today. Good. And that's it for me at this point. I'm going to stop sharing my slides. And um, I will see you back in a few minutes um, to talk a bit more about Twente Pathway College, but that's after the next presentation. So Dwell, over to you.